Shalom, young people. God bless you. God loves you. And this is Pastor Sharjil Shafkat from Pakistan, Assemblies of God. I'm a youth pastor. I'm married. I have two kids. My son is 10 years old, Hanyan Sharjil Shafkat, and my daughter, Aliana Sharjil Shafkat. She's two and a half years old. I'm married to Sarah, and I've, I got a beautiful family. Today, I want to grab this opportunity. I want to tell and encourage every young person that you are a masterpiece of God. God has a special plan for all of you guys. Hey guys, hey, do not hide out. Huh? I can see you. God can see you more than that. Of course, this is just an individual thing, but God can see you, you know. Have you ever felt betrayed? Have you ever felt used? Have you ever felt that somebody has took advantage of you? I felt the same. But still, God is in control. Don't worry. Give your all anxieties. Give all your burdens to God. He's going to take care of it. I want to bring you guys to the character of Joseph. Joseph was also betrayed. And you know the people who betrayed him? was his own family member. That was the highest level of betrayal. But God took care of it. God didn't let Joseph astray or wander. He did not let him die in that betrayal. But God prepared his heart to become successful. The first thing was that he was still able to forgive. Please forgive whoever has said something to you. If you have a, right now you have paper and pen, go grab it. Write all those words which was said against you, that you are not good enough, you are this, that. Write it down. Have you written it? Okay. Don't write the name of the person eh, who said that. No. Just tear this paper off because this is not you. You are the precious son and daughter of the Most High God. Forgive them because they don't know what they do. The second thing, Joseph was very, very sensitive to, to God. Maybe you guys remember when Joseph was called by the wife of Potiphar to have sin with him, with her, he said one thing. He ran away and he said before he ran, he ran away, before he ran away, he said one thing. I don't want to commit sin against my God. So he was not really about... Uh, what the 44 will say, what the Egypt government will say, what this or this, this guy will say or this guy will say. He was concerned what God will say. Fix your eyes on God. Fix your eyes on Jesus. And whenever you have a difficult situation and you think, what can I do? I don't know what I should do here. Put Jesus in that situation. What Jesus will act on that particular situation. And what he will act, what he will do, just follow that. Jesus will never come in sin against his father. So he kept himself pure. Joseph kept himself pure. He said, I cannot sin against God. Young people, if you want to be successful in every aspect of your life. Keep yourself pure because purity is purity. If there's no purity, if there's no purity, no holiness, success will not be common. Success will follow you if you are pure and in God. And success has different meanings. The second thing, you need to forgive them. Whoever betray you, whoever said bad things, whoever used you, 
took advantage of you forgive him because god still loves you but he wants to purify he wants to clean what is happening inside us the other thing is that know your purpose you are fearfully and wonderfully made go make disciples that's that's what jesus said huh go make disciples let everybody know what is the good news let everybody involve or be the partaker of member of the family a member of the kingdom the heavenly king is so loving so do not keep your blessings be a channel of blessing you have the citizen ship of heaven let others be also your 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 countryman your citizens your your people who can also fly in heaven welcome jesus do not hold that blessing god loves you and loves people whom you going to bring him to bring back to home and the last thing is that the power of the holy spirit x18 says when you will filled with the power of the holy spirit you will be witness witnessing god in jerusalem judea samaria and to the remotest part of the world are you ready and you know one thing when you are in the in the in the plan of god when you are serving god when you are writing history god still never forget you and not on this world earth this world will not also forget you because you are making history god wants to ignite you but you need to we need to purify ourselves forgive our our transgressor trespasses also know our purpose and then know the power of the holy spirit is given us to be witnesses ignite the might god has chosen every single person every single believer every single disciple every single faithful christian to serve him because it's god's story it's his mission not my mission not someone else's mission it's god's mission and he want to ignite you to bring the captive of satan into his home back home so ignite the might god want to bless this whole nation this all the nations because he don't want everybody to die or anybody die he want everybody to come to the knowledge of salvation and accept jesus christ as their lord and savior so god bless you may god ignite you and your family to give glory to god see you soon ignite the might ignite the might amen